Hi, I want to talk about overkill in gaming computers. Now, before you get upset, I, I am master of overkill. But I want to talk about something in the sense of, you know, what is exactly overkill for certain things? Because a lot of people do get confused with the overkill and I get um, parts because I think I need it for what I do, but I actually don't. And overkill in the sense that I just want a good looking system. So, I'm going to talk about that overkill is in the parts and then I'm going to move into the system looks overall. So my first thing I want to talk about is performance. People always think that, you know, I've had one person that got 32 gigs and one that got 16. If you're doing gaming, it is always 16 gigs of RAM and will be 16 gigs of RAM for a long time. Now for 32, I do 4K editing on 32 gigs of RAM. So the point being there is if you are doing something on 32 gigs of RAM, you mean you'd have to be doing insanely amounts of you know RAM intensive tasks. You can Google whatever you're doing and know within pretty much a moment or so that you know well, how much RAM is going to be needing. Now for graphics cards, I have you know a 1080i, and I'll be making a full video on SLI and the value of SLI. As for just looking at it as the performance standpoint, you do not need SLI. Get, you know save all that money and put it all into one card instead of two you know mediocre cards. That will make a big difference in your gaming performance. And I'll be making a full video on that so you can actually watch that. But the, that, that's pretty much the logic behind this is, and that's why I speak, you know, what I preach, or why I do what I preach, and I actually have a 1080 Ti rather than, you know, SLI two cards, which I think would look better, yes, but, you know, I already think that, you know, having it side mounted really hides the other card. So there's no point in putting, you know, all this extra work into, you know, yes, I have a nice looking computer. Yes, some of the specs are pretty cool, but it's, you know, we'll get to looks later on. So now for the storage. People really um, think that storage is something... Let's be honest, two terabytes of whatever storage will be enough for you. If you want to spend more than you know money more money on than more money for two more than two terabytes, then you're kind of looking at the point where A, are you what are you doing? You're storing photos? That's fine. If you're storing some type of videos, um, I do vi video editing, I have a lot of hard drives. Um, if you're storing some type of, you know, advanced games, large games, and you just like downloading all your games, that's kind of fine. But if you're just doing gaming, which most of the people are, you really could go for a lot of SSDs and make a big difference in your gaming performance. If you, you might have to delete a game here or there, but that's not really the main issue there. It, you'll still have enough storage and you'll really notice the difference when you load up your games because it just makes a huge difference. I moved PUBG from an SSD or onto an SSD, completely loads like super fast. So that being said, it really does kind of depend on what you're doing and like if you need mass storage or not. But overkill is really just getting like seven terabytes of hard drive space, which I don't think they make that, it's like eight then, you know, that's kind of overkill compared to getting, you know, you know, I mean, obviously there is overkill and you could always argue that, you know, SSDs are overkill, but then again, you know, it's not necessarily the base amount. If you really want to use your money wisely, I guess, is the best way to put it. Now, for looks, looks are something that I feel like can be, you know, decided by the person. I mean, performance, I have a Founders Edition card because it was the cheapest at the time I bought, the cheapest 10 at the time I bought this. So looking at this, we're looking pretty much, and you know, th the motherboard I have is was not really gotten for looks. It was just the nicest, highest rated motherboard when I looked for an X370 chipset. So we're looking here, and